Hi, I'm Kevin Hogan with Rock Island Auction Company, and I'm here today with my friend and firearms expert, Richard Ellis. We're here today to talk to you about our upcoming September 7th, 8th, and 9th Premier Firearms Auction. We dubbed this sale our most anticipated auction in our history, and for great reason. The sale is spectacular, filled with rare, highly desirable, and highly historic arms. And what is more historic than the two revolvers we have before us? Yeah, I mean, it goes from this collection of being a, primarily with the Colt single action armies. Here we have two factory engraved single action armies and this impeccable history to one of the most famous raids of the Old West, the and, Dalton Raid. And you know, we, we work at an auction company and, and people ask us all the time, they send in guns. I have this gun that was Billy the Kid's gun. I have this gun that was Abraham Lincoln's gun. And 99 out of 100 times, you have, to, you have to give the bad news that it's, you don't have enough provenance. We, we, can't, we can't necessarily call it that. But here, we have just unquestionable, unprecedented documentation that links this gun to being taken off of Bob Dalton's hip after the failed Coffeeville raid in 1892. I mean, what more could you ask for if you were a student of the single action, a student of the Wild West? It was an unbroken chain. It, it, it dates from the actual sheriff's sale of his personal effects after he was killed you know, by the, the townspeople and the sheriffs. The gun remained in Coffeyville right up until uh, the last 10 or 20 years, last decade. Right, it was in the museum. It was a museum for 30 years. It was on loan from a descendant of the purchaser that had a, a store in that town that bought it at the, the auction. How better, to, I mean, you cannot get any better. Also, as I recall, the factory letter reads as it being shipped to a, a Mr. Williams. And tell me about that, Kevin. Um, well, with the doc we have pages and pages and pages of documentation on this pistol. And, and now there was a shipment of 10 revolvers, all factory engraved all pearl gripped and so we have 10 guns five gang members a pair of pistols for each gang member um, the idea being that the daltons had, had a sense of history about them they were really the last romanticized gang to roam the wild west to go on bank robberies and and they wanted to one up the james younger gang so that was the whole the, the process of the coffeeville raid they were going to rob two banks simultaneously at the same time never before been done and they wanted to do so, obviously, in flamboyant fashion with all matching, you know, factory engraved Pearl Grip revolvers. Um, A.E. Williams was an alias used by Bob Dalton when he checked into a hotel room in New Orleans. We have documentation proving that. And, and so, what, I mean, really what we have is, like you say, an unbroken chain that links this gun to being taken off of the dead body of Bob Dalton right off his hip. Yeah, as I recall, that, that, that documentation about Williams was in... Emmett Dalton's book on, on the, the uh, biography. Correct. And he's the one that stated that. Correct, correct. And, and not knowing that it had anything to do with the single action, so it wasn't stylized for, for changing history or anything. It was true history. Fact, right. right. And <laughs> what's even more remarkable about Emmett is after the, after the raid, th they found him with 25 bullet holes in him, patched him up and sent him off to prison for, you know, 15 years. That's pretty remarkable. Tough guy. Um, and, and this revolver is slightly more ambiguous to, to where or to what gang member it belonged to. Um, this really is the holy grail to the, to the whole, I guess, set. There are, there's a gun known that's in the Autry Museum. Um, there's one or two other guns in private collections. In fact, the other gun that can be directly linked to Bob Dalton is in a private collection. So this really is, a, it's a collector's dream come true to be able to, to bring back together just <laughs> two historical infamous pistols that you know haven't been together for hundreds of years. But as I recall, this gun, this particular gun, helped to document all the others. And, Correct. And that's what helps this, even though slightly ambiguous, it's still in the same shipment. We just do not know which gang member had it in the raid. Whereas Correct. we know who had that. Correct. And you know, guys collect guns for many reasons. Um, you know, they, they like to know how stuff works. They grew up with that certain model. People are enamored with the history. People buy them as, as high art guns. This, I mean, this really embraces all of that. It's factory engraved. It's beautiful, it's attractive, but the historical significance of this pistol is just truly monumental. 
we can't encourage you enough to come because if you're here, you can see it, you can touch it, you can hold it. it it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to see these pistols documented to the Dalton gang and they're up for auction, they're up for sale. We hope to see you September 7th, 8th and 9th. And remember the auction starts at 9 a.m.